Now we'll talk about the last two uh, elements of management, that is directing and controlling. Once the organization has all of its people and it's running effectively, the next step is to direct the employees, tell them what to do, motivating, leading employees to move in, in the right direction and to know what they're supposed to accomplish and have and, and enthusiastically move in the direction of achieving those objectives. Good directing involves telling employees what to do, when to do it, and through the implementation of deadlines, encouraging them to do their work and meet their time frames and the like, uh, essentially pushing the the operation forward and making sure that all the parts are played and they're played in tune with one another. There are many contingencies across the organization. Pieces have to fall together at the same time. An orchestra conductor is one way to think about that, but also a coach um, in, in an athletic environment. Uh, managers may motivate employees by providing incentives such as the promise of a raise or a promotion or for doing a good job. Uh, that helps people get, get motivated to do a good job. Most workers want more than money, though, from their jobs. They also want to know that they're valued and they have they are valuable employees, all valuable to the organization, valuable members of the organization. So smart managers and leaders ask workers to contribute ideas for reducing cost, take into account those ideas, have open dialogue and communication, which we'll talk more about later making our equipment more efficient, improving things. You want people to feel like they're invested in the company and what they do is very, very important to the outcomes of the company. Directing, important aspect of management. And the last of the five is controlling. We've had planning, organizing, staffing, and directing. They're all important, but you have to know that what you're expecting and what you're trying to achieve is actually being done and that's controlling. Um, that's when you figure out something is going wrong. It's the process of evaluating and correcting activities to keep the organization on course. There are five activities generally. Measuring performance, comparing present performance with standards or objectives, identifying deviations from the standards, investigating the causes of these deviations, and then cor taking corrective actions making interventions. Controlling and planning, they're closely linked. The plans lay out the story. Controlling makes sure the plans are met. Planning establishes what needs to be done and how it needs to be carried out, what standards are necessary. Monitoring performance and comparing them with the standards is what controlling is all about. Manage can determine whether the organization is on target by comparing the plans, the organizing, and all of that together in the controlling function. When performance is some substandard, management must determine why and take the appropriate actions to get the firm back on course. In short, the control function helps managers assess the success of their plans. This is, we've talked conceptually about these various items. In the next lecture, we'll talk about an organization in a larger scale, the levels of management and the like. These functions continue to be performed at all of these levels, and we'll talk about that a little bit in the next lecture on levels of management.